Providence Little Company of Mary Hospital Torrance Providence Little Company of Mary Torrance Hospital Well, well, well We meet at last somewhere in the universe Clark the Shark and Providence Oh, you're divine providence, aren't you? And people out there are like, oh, Clark the Shark's always full of shit. He never knows what he's talking about. He's got such a little world that he lives in. And we're all so much bigger and better than little Clark the Shark. He's such a little peasant. He's not like us. We're tall and good looking and we're important. Clark the shark? Not him. He's the little guy that sits in the fucking corner. Ah, uh, but this time, you guys are all on the Clark the shark show, where I'm going to be discussing Providence Little Company of Mary Medical Center, Torrance, and what this hospital did to my mother, Joanne Higgins. And you guys are like, uh-oh. Whoa, 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 what's Sharky talking about here? I'm like, well, I'm about to fucking tell you. And everyone's like, ah, don't worry. Shark's full of shit. He never knows what he's talking about. Especially when Clark the Shark is talking about music or politics or Providence, Little Company of Mary Medical Center, Torrance. Well, 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 we're here on Judge Judy show, only there's no Judge Judy, there's just Clark the Shark, and this beautiful building, Providence, in Torrance, and what happened here on the Clark the Shark show is my sister, Mary Elizabeth Higgins, and my brother, Greg Higgins, they walked into this hospital in September of 2009. And while my mother was literally dying in a hospital bed and on morphine, uh, she was on all these drugs, you guys. My mother, Joanne, the school teacher at St. Lawrence in Redondo, a lot of you people in the South Bay know who I am, you guys know Clark the Shark because you're all big fans of my music, but I bet you don't know my mother, Joanne, who went to Providence Hospital in 2009. Well, this hospital cared about Joanne so much that they let my sister, Mary Elizabeth Linsky Higgins, whatever the fuck her name is, she... And my brother, Greg, went into the hospital with a notary public. And the hospital allowed it. And I called this hospital many times and I said, you guys got to quit the practice of letting notary publics into your hospital. Because when you do that, all it takes is a couple of crooked so-called fake trustees to steal all the money and finances away from some old senior citizen like my mother, Joanne, on the Clark the Shark Show at 1-800-449-8255. That's right. Providence Little Company and Mary Medical Center. You guys have said to me on the phone, oh, you got this guy that's like, oh, Clark, we'll pay you 60000 and I'm like, dude, they sold my house in Redondo at 251 Paseo de Gracia, though. That house lot today is worth two and a half, three million. And the guy at Providence is like, well, we can work something out, Clark. We, we see that you got screwed. I'm like, yeah, I got screwed at 1-800-449-8255, the Clark the Shark show. I got screwed by Providence, Little Company of Mary Hospital right here, who let a notary public into their facility with my sister, Mary, and my brother, Greg, 
And while my mom was on morphine and Demerol and God knows what other drugs, in September 2009, I think it was September 4th or September 9th, I got all the medical records. But right here, Clark the Shark, uh, I'm talking to you, Providence Medical Center, Torrance. You guys... You know darn well my mom, who was very old and very sick, was in a hospital bed, and she shouldn't have been signing power of attorney or trustee shit with anyone from that hospital bed. You guys should not allow notary publics or people signing documents inside your hospital. You need to tell the notary public and the two snaky scam artists who come into your hospital to take a fucking hike and go somewhere else and sign your fucking documents at 1-800-449-8255. Because Providence, when you let my sister Mary Linsky do that, she then sold my house in Redondo Beach. And Clark the Shark from The Greenhouse Effect, who lives across the street from Bill Watt of Prop 13, me, Clark the Shark, I lost millions of dollars because of what you did, Providence, when you allowed a notary public and my scam artist, Sister Mary, into your hospital. Now, the good Lord did a little... uh, you know, action. I won't say what happened after this, but like, dude, it was bad. And then me, Clark the Shark, I went and sued the lawyers in small claims court in Torrance. Who the hell would think of that? Only Clark the Shark would think of shit like that. You know, Uh, Mr. Oh, I'm not going to say your fucking name. The two piece of shit, scoundrel, low-life lawyers in Torrance who screwed over my family in 2011 because of my sister, Mary Linsky Higgins, or whatever her name is. Well, one 800 there will be justice because Providence Little Company Mary I'm going to keep on you guys. I don't care about the statute of limitations or what lawyers say, you guys. I don't care because me, Clark the Shark, I lost my childhood. I lost my home when 251 Paseo de Gracia got sold without my approval. I didn't want it sold. And I don't remember having a family vote that selected Mary Higgins as trustee or Greg Higgins as power of attorney. I don't remember a vote or a family meeting where they came to me and uh, they said, hey, Clark the Shark, who do you want to be sole trustee or POA? I don't remember anything like that, Providence. All I know is I remember two people entered your facility with some lady notary public lady, and they got my mom who was sick in a hospital bed to sign over her whole financial world because of your hospital. You should have stopped those people from coming into your hospital. And in the future, Providence, you need to stop notary public's and all people from coming into your hospital and signing any documents in there. This is Clark the Shark at 1-800-449-8255 on the Clark the Shark Show. And I'm out of here. Out.